Today, 13 terrifying conspiracy theories. The other day, we watched a SpongeBob conspiracy theory that left me absolutely bamboozled. And so today, I wanted to take it one step further. And we're looking at real life conspiracy theories that are apparently going to make our blood run cold. Let's see. Now here's what I'm gonna say. This has nothing to do with a conspiracy theory, but that intro was hot. This is like a straight up TV program, Dom. Consider this. Does the Ohio State University marching band have their field maneuvers directed by aliens hovering overhead high above the stadium? A scary theory to say the least. That's not scary at all. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Okay. Not off to a good start. I'm really hoping that I didn't get clickbaited nasty, but on the off chance that I did, okay? Y'all know what this shit is. Don't clickbait my bitch ass. If you like that one, I'll come back around in a second and fix it if, I, if I'm wrong. Check this out. I don't 13 like 13 of the scariest theories known to humankind. Bro, there's no chance that one of the scariest theories known to humankind is whether or not a marching band of baboons is controlled by aliens. Fuck out of here, Dom. Most beautiful things about humanity is that we question everything. Where did we come from? Where are we headed? Is there intelligent life on Earth? Makes you wonder sometimes. When is there intelligent life on Earth? Is this bitch stupid? Dom. I'm assuming it was supposed to say outside of Earth. Okay, I I'm gonna chalk it up to a typo, but this video really not looking like the hit. When the mental gears really start moving, people can come up with theories that are downright terrifying. In this video, you this is Yawners the Clown. Okay, here we go. Number 13. Here's the first the one. The Great Filter. When you really consider the size of the universe, it's only reasonable to assume that it's filled with countless life forms. Yet, we haven't stumbled across any of them so far. So why is that? According to this theory, somewhere out there exists a great filter. The main purpose of this filter is to stop those civilizations that advance to the level of star colonization. If we suppose that this idea is true, there are three possible scenarios for humanity. A. We're unique because we've passed the great filter. Other civilizations haven't managed to do this. B. We're among the first potential colonizers. Before, the conditions in space were too harsh for life forms to leave their home planets. <laughs> in this case, chances are that we'll soon encounter aliens. C. We haven't reached the level of technological development that's advanced enough to pass through the filter. Consequently, the trial is still ahead of us. I think it's probably C. Okay, th 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 that's not really scary to me. Okay, I'm not really terrified by any of the shit that we just saw because just uh, it's just not scary, bitch. It's just not. Especially because I think it's C, okay? I definitely think it's C. Like, yeah, we went to the moon. Maybe. <laughs> shit! Sorry, that might be coming up. Let me take it easy. <laughs> Real talk, though. Real talk, though. We've only gone to the moon, bitch. We haven't done very much star colonization at all. Okay, once we get out of our solar system, we can talk about it, but there ain't no way we anywhere near see it all. Okay, so they just trip a lipping. They just trip a lipping. There's definitely aliens. There's definitely bullshit in the, pl er, er, in the universe. We just ain't seen it yet. Okay, and, and it's 100% seen. Keep it moving. Number 12. Higher dimensional beings. Let's imagine something pretty bizarre now. 2D people. Obviously, if you stared at them- Damn, that would be Scam City. <laughs> if like, if like, if like there is another dimension, but like that dimension is more shit than our dimension, those bitches got dolls, bro. Like, 2D would be whack. Like, let's talk 4D, bitch. Let's talk 4D. I want another dimension, not one less dimension. If you in the 2D world watching me right now, Bo, I'm sorry, you got fucked up. They got you fucked up over there, Bo. Cause 3D's pretty hot. I bet 4D's popping, but I bet 2D trash on God. From a certain angle, like from the top, they wouldn't ever spot you. They'd live peacefully in their two-dimensional lives without any suspicion that someone's watching them from above. And now imagine something even scarier. What if a 4D being was looking at you from their four-dimensional world? 
just like a- Now that'd be kinda slick. Yo, if that's a real thing, if there's some 4D bitch watching me, make some thunder go off right now. I ain't heard nothing. Damn! 2D person, you wouldn't be able to notice this creature in your 3D world. You could potentially interact with a 2D person if you found the right angle. In the same manner, a 4D life form could talk to you. Unfortunately, even if these higher dimensional beings exist, they seem reluctant to make contact with the human race. Isn't that what? Like, if I'm in the fourth dimension, bitch, I'm fucking with y'all all the time. Okay, there's a couple of y'all on my hit list that I am haunting until I'm dead. Okay, and if I'm a 4D being, we're not even certain I die. So I go. So I. I, I in the fourth dimension, I'll be able to talk, I promise. What I was gonna say is if I'm a fourth dimensional being and I never die, just get ready for a lifelong torment session. That's not how I wanted to say it, but I saved it. Stop typing! Point is, I'm gonna bully you until you're dead! Okay, if you don't understand, I'm gonna bully you until you're dead. Number 11, false vacuum. This scientific theory says that our universe exists in a false phase state which means that it's just a temporary thing. What's more, what does that mean? it's only a small part of a larger universe. We knew that. Let's say this bigger universe is a pot of boiling water. According to the false vacuum theory, the universe we live in would be just a tiny bubble on the surface of the water. But this can't go on forever. One day, perhaps in billions of years, this false vacuum will eventually burst. And then, the visible universe around us will instantly vanish with a pop, without any preliminary warning. And what that means for humanity? Well, you can probably imagine. Well, hold up, bitch, that in billions and billions of years, we all gonna be tossed by then anyway. I, I, I love the theories that, like, require, like, a bajillion years of time to pass before you can prove them. Those ones are my favorite, because, bitch, I got a couple theories about that, too. Okay? Like, like, if, if there's no way to disprove my theory except to wait two billion years, motherfucker, let me tell you some bonkers-ass shit I think's coming. Okay? Because, like, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't prove me wrong. What are you gonna do, wait two billion years? Yeah, right, idiot. All I'm saying is, the billion theory theories, the billion year theories, kinda whack. I can't talk today. Stop typing, Dom. Number 10, we're living in a black hole. Now, you're probably aware that a black hole sucks in everything around them. But what happens to the stuff it engulfs? What if a black hole already swallowed us up long ago? Surprisingly, some physicists deem this theory pretty plausible. According to Dr. Nicodem Who is that bitch? He looks smart as hell. Pawlowski, a theoretical physicist at the University of New Haven, everything that a black hole sucks in may turn into a new universe inside the hole or on the other side of it. Who knows? Maybe that's how our universe was born and where it's currently located. What is this animation we're looking at right now? What What is this? <laughs> Number 9. What, what, white what? holes. Now, the theory know. of white holes is closely connected with the previous idea. <laughs> While black holes engulf all matter so that even light can't escape, white holes are quite the opposite. These formations are believed to spit out everything that black holes suck in. In other words, a white hole is a hypothetical area of space-time that nothing can enter from the outside, but light and matter can escape from it. It's vice versa for black holes. You can only enter one from the outside, but can't get free afterwards. What? Uh, bro, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't ask me, I don't know. Bro, some, 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 some of these theories are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, well, I I'm watching a YouTube video, but you need to dumb this shit down substantially. You may have heard of the existence of a parallel universe. In that place, a parallel universe where bowl cuts are in fashion, am I right? Come on. Everything seems the same, but is in fact quite different. The multiverse theory takes it all one step further and claims that there might be countless other realities beside our own. Now, according to this theory, we live in a bubble that's just one of many other bubbles. They constantly pop up and vanish, not unlike soap bubbles. And who knows? Maybe in one of these universes, dinosaurs still roam this planet. 
Bro, now see, that one is bonkers the clown. That's like that shit, uh, 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 what's that new Marvel? Doctor Strange, the Doctor Strange one, where they be doing some bullshit like that, okay? I'm pretty sure they got that way wrong in Doctor Strange, but the principle still exists, okay? The multiverse bullshit, that, that's got me stunned. Okay, that's got me stunned. Y'all know goddamn well in some other universe, I'm king of the world, bitch. And I be tormenting all you motherfuckers. And that's for serious. Dom, we can drink. Cute. Number seven, brain in a vat. This idea has provided the groundwork for a number of thought experiments. Damn, how could the bottom of that brain look like some cheeks? Y'all know what I'm saying? Come on now. Just consider the following statements. The origin of consciousness is the brain. The brain needs electrical impulses to operate. However, it can also be influenced by external stimuli. Thus, if such stimuli are simulated to a high degree, the brain won't be able to distinguish these artificial stimuli from natural ones. Basically, what this means is that okay. you very well could be just a brain in a jar. I mean, it kind of I mean, it kind of is, right? Like that's kind of already what I got going on here. Okay, this bitch kind of look like a jar. You look at it from the right angle, okay? Shit! Something is feeding you false impulses, and you're hallucinating your whole life in reality. Now, Yo, yo, that'd be whack as fuck. If this shit is true and they didn't make me the king of the world, what's going on here? Who's running my simulation? You got me fucked up! You, I want a billion dollars! I want a billion dollars! Dom. That's a truly weird thought. The hell Number is that? six, Rocco's Basilisk. Rocco's Basilisk is a hypothesis that some future super powerful artificial intellect can retroactively punish people who've struggled against it in the past, which is our present, or even those who did nothing to help bring it about. This theory mostly explores the possible what? consequences of developing AI to such an advanced level that it can backfire on us. But there are gonna be some Terminator type shit popping off in the next 10 years, that's a guarantee. Okay, that's not a theory. Those, those motherfuckers over there be fucking with some demonic ass shit. Wait, let me not say that, bitch. They're gonna toss my ass, they're gonna watch this video back. Hold up, Esteen, mute that entire part. I love AI, AI is my favorite. Please don't kill me in the future, thank you. Who comes up with this stuff? Ready for more? Number five, the Transcension Hypothesis. How about a less scary, more positive theory for a change? Okay. Well, I'm ready for that. The transcension hypothesis states that a civilization eventually gets to a certain intellectual level. Having reached this point- What is that? Okay, sir, I was looking at- I was looking at like this part of the picture and I saw like this shit like caressing it and I was like, what am I looking at? And then I realized it was a cell. Anyway, it was kind of disturbing point. before I realized it that. It manages to achieve microscopic technological singularity Okay, stay with me now. And create- Not the black hole pick again. Bruh, what are these pictures? What are these pictures? A black hole, which will allow this civilization to leave its visible universe. This way, it'll take its complexity, intelligence, and growth to new levels. At the rate our scientific development is going, this becomes a real optimistic probability for the human race. Number four, the terror management theory. According to this idea, uh, everything we do comes from the fear of death. Our wishes and motivation are based on just one thing, and it's the idea that one day we will stop existing. When you consider modern medicine, or even just anti-aging procedures and products, it becomes obvious that we really are desperately trying to avoid death. Science works day and night to ensure that humanity will survive, and the human lifespan will become longer and longer. What? Is that a conspiracy? Where's the conspiracy? Where's the conspiracy? Where in the fuck is the conspiracy? That makes no sense. This bitch literally just stated like a random, like legitimate, like verifiable fact as number four. Like, of course, we're trying to avoid death, you twat. That, that's the whole point of evolution and the planet and everything we got going on. Where's the conspiracy? Number three. Maybe he's gonna say the sixth himself. mass extinction. This theory. What is that? What is? Oh, it's yarn. I thought these were like guts or something. I was like, what is that? Is probably the most horrifying. Yet, unfortunately, it's the most probable scenario. Some biologists believe that humanity is headed for or already passing through the sixth mass extinction. It has to do with how overpopulated our planet is. In the 18th century. 
There were about 1 billion people on Earth. But nowadays, just a couple hundred years later, the number of people on this planet has exceeded a whopping 7 billion. If nothing changes, the outcome will be unavoidable. Basically, humankind is due for a tragic demise. Uh, I'm honestly with that. I'm honestly with that. I told you that. IA. Okay. Trying to bamboozle the computer system here. That thing I was talking about earlier that we had to bleep out. Coming for us all, y'all, for series. Number two. Not me, though, because I love AI. Hey, hey. You heard it here first. Two, the Fermi Paradox. This idea explains why we probably wouldn't recognize an advanced alien civilization. Oh, I've heard about this one before. Okay, let me let me listen because I might have some real thoughts. Because this might... I don't think these are conspiracies, for the record, but all the same. Even if it came up and bit us on the butt. This civilization could be so advanced that humans would never understand their ways. As a result of our... Damn, I'll tell you something I understand. Be ...so advanced that humans would never understand their ways. As a result of our dumb simplicity, this technologically developed race would never try to come in contact with us. After all, you don't pay attention to ants, do you? It's kind of like how ants don't realize that a highway you build near their anthill is what it is, a means of connecting distant places. We couldn't even fathom the complexity of this civilization, and they, in turn, couldn't be bothered to enlighten us. <laughs> Number 1. The simulation. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Theory. Now, according to the sim. So this is. I think this one's going to be pretty similar to the brain and the vat theory. But let's listen in. Simulation theory. We all live in an incredibly complex computer game. Yep. Nothing less than that. It's likely that either humanity in the distant future or any other technologically advanced alien civilization has created or will create numerous computer simulations. And while the number of these simulations was, is, and will be almost infinite, chances are that we're living in one of them right now. Sorry, that was my mind blowing. Okay. Now, aside from my man with his little commentary in the background with the sorry, the whatever the hell he just said about his mind exploding bullshit, don't care. Anyway, the simulation theory similarly whack to the other ones we've been talking about because again whoever is running this bitch got me certified fucked up i want listen to me listen to me listen to me a billion dollars <laughs> what, what punch in the cheat codes god damn it okay up down left right a b a b get my ass some some money <laughs> That was a good save. <laughs> Y'all see me. Anyway, that was 13 of the scariest conspiracy theories. Wait. Oh my god, bitch. I just realized it doesn't even say conspiracy in the title. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I I, I literally what I type in. Look! Look what I typed in! How'd I get this? That's not what I typed in! They got me triple lipping. They I'm out of here. I'm out of here. There's no recovery. I gotta go. I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Also, for the record, I'm setting it straight. Okay. I'm setting it straight. I was wrong. 